Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you concerned about getting a mRNA vaccine? In this video, I'll share what is RNA and mRNA, mRNA and DNA, conventional versus mRNA vaccines, and mRNA vaccine facts and myths. First, RNA is the acronym for ribonucleic acid. Your body makes and uses RNA for a variety of functions. One main function of RNA is making proteins. Your body doesn't use protein in foods directly. Dietary protein provides essential amino acids. RNA uses the genetic code in your DNA to arrange amino acids into a variety of proteins. Without RNA, your body could not produce hemoglobin for red blood cells or replace and make muscle cells. So what is mRNA? mRNA is in the news due to the development of two mRNA vaccines against SARS-CoV-2. First, there's a difference between SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19. SARS-CoV-2 is the strain of coronavirus. COVID-19 is the disease caused by SARS-CoV-2. Two vaccines to prevent COVID-19 use messenger RNA or mRNA. mRNA is one type of RNA produced by your body. Others include rRNA, tRNA, and tmRNA. Your DNA contains all the information that makes you unique. The information in your DNA is useless without RNA. mRNA is used to transfer information in your cell's DNA to the cell's ribosome. To make specific proteins, your body relies on mRNA to copy the genetic code for that protein stored in your DNA. To make muscle cells, your body transports the information using mRNA plus amino acids in tRNA to the muscle cell's ribosome. Then rRNA within the ribosome takes the mRNA instructions to assemble amino acids to replace or make new muscle cells. After using the information in mRNA, it degrades and is removed from your body cells. mRNA has a short lifespan of only several minutes or days. That's why mRNA vaccines must be stored at very cold temperatures like minus 70 degrees Celsius. 24 hours a day, your body uses mRNA to make a variety of proteins. Conventional vaccines were developed hundreds of years ago, beginning with smallpox. Prior to the COVID mRNA vaccine, vaccines were made using inactive viruses. Some people believe the COVID mRNA vaccine is new technology developed in 2020. mRNA vaccine research has been ongoing for decades. Researchers have been studying mRNA vaccines against influenza, Zika, and rabies. Like most scientific research, it goes unnoticed until it makes the news. Like conventional vaccines, mRNA vaccines are designed to trigger an immune system response. Conventional vaccines introduce an inactive virus into your body. Your immune system identifies a foreign substance and produces antibodies to destroy it. If you become infected by the actual live virus, your body has the antibodies to destroy it. You have immunity against that virus. Unlike conventional vaccines, mRNA vaccines do not use inactive viruses. Instead, mRNA vaccines have the genetic code for a harmless part of the virus. In the case of SARS-CoV-2, 
It's the genetic code for a harmless piece of the spike protein that attaches to cells, allowing the virus to enter and replicate. Like your body's mRNA, after delivering the instructions to make the spike protein, the mRNA degrades and is removed. Your cells make the harmless spike protein, but your body still identifies it as a foreign substance. This triggers an immune response and antibodies to eliminate it. If you're infected by the actual SARS-CoV-2 virus, your body is prepared to destroy it. The best case scenario is that you have no symptoms or mild symptoms. The worst case scenario is that the vaccine provides little or no immunity against COVID-19. While no vaccine is 100% effective, it can stop the spread of a virus through herd immunity. Thanks to the internet and social media, anyone can express their opinion or view. In most cases, it's exactly that, their opinion or view. Like fad diets, opponents of mRNA vaccines use fear to sow doubt. Many accept the misinformation as fact without questioning its validity. After all, if someone claiming to be a doctor, scientist, or a celebrity took the time to make and upload a video, the information must be true, right? Unfortunately, viral information is not always accurate information. For example, there's a viral myth that mRNA vaccines alters your DNA. As I've shared, mRNA is a messenger RNA molecule. In your body, it takes information stored in your DNA, allowing rRNA to make cells and proteins. Neither your body's mRNA or vaccine mRNA alters your DNA. DNA mutations usually result from overexposure to radiation. For that reason, what was once called a healthy tan is no longer considered healthy. Another myth is that mRNA vaccines increase your risk of cancer. As I just shared, radiation can cause DNA damage that can increase your risk of cancer. There are no studies linking mRNA vaccines with an increased risk of cancer. Most cancers are due to diet, lifestyle, and environment. Too much UV light exposure increases your risk of melanoma. Diets high in cured meats increases your risk of colon cancer. Smoking and vaping increase your risk of mouth and lung cancer. This brings us to another popular myth that you'll die within a few years of receiving an mRNA vaccine, especially if you're over 70. For decades, Americans have done an excellent job reducing their life expectancy through poor diet and lifestyle choices. In 2020, U.S. life expectancy dropped to 75.1 years for men and 80.5 years for women. People of all ages will die within a few years of getting an mRNA or conventional vaccine. That doesn't mean the vaccine was the cause of death. People die daily from preventable causes, but there's no movement to ban driving, processed foods, or risky activities. Then there's the mRNA vaccine sterility myth. If the sterility myth is true, it would be great news to millions of women who do not want to have children. Like all vaccines, mRNA vaccines have reported side effects. Sterility is not one of them. Another myth is that mRNA vaccines increase your risk of allergies, dementia, and inflammation. Allergies and asthma have been increasing for decades. Causes range from synthetic food additives to poor air quality. 
Dementia and chronic inflammation are also increasing, but many people continue living sedentary lives and eating highly inflammatory foods. Another viral myth is the government using mRNA vaccine nanoparticles to spy on you. mRNA vaccines use lipid nanoparticles as a carrier to deliver the mRNA to your cells. Your diet includes fatty acids like omega-3 and omega-6. Conspiracy theorists will say the government is using undisclosed nanoparticles to track you. It's ironic there is little opposition to corporations using a variety of ways to collect personal information. Finally, there's the myth the government is trying to kill you by adding potassium chloride used for lethal injections to mRNA vaccines. It's true one of the mRNA vaccines does have potassium chloride, It also has sodium chloride, also known as salt. Potassium chloride is sold as a salt substitute to consumers and added to hundreds of processed foods. Both potassium and chloride are essential nutrients. It's natural being cautious about new technologies. I was concerned about the safety and side effects of the mRNA COVID vaccines. On April 11th, 2021, I received my second dose of an mRNA vaccine. The only side effect after the first dose was a sore arm for less than 24 hours. The second dose produced slight chills the first night and slight fatigue the following day, lasting less than 24 hours. There are and will be many myths about the safety of mRNA and conventional vaccines. mRNA is essential for life and it's at work in your body 24 hours a day and has been since your conception. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching.